Chapter 6 Inside Archer's garage, everyone stared at one another. Their mouth was wide open. Well, said Archer, maybe that was too much of a bang. But I think it's a good start. There was a knock on the garage door. Archer opened it. A police officer was standing outside. Her cruiser was out on the street. The lights were flashing. Oh my, said Arthur. I'm investigating a complaint, said the officer. Actually, we had a number of calls. You did, said Arthur. What about? The officer looked at her note. Someone thought a cat was being tortured. He, we, take a pre, we take a pretty dim view of that around here. Do you have a, a cat? No cat, said Arthur, just a dog, and he's fine, honestly. Someone else heard the siren wearing of a nuclear meltdown. The officer looked over Arthur's shoulder. You're not using any optimizing methods in here, are you? No uranium? No fancy insect tubs? Arthur shook his head. We, 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 we're, we're, just resisting a jingle. The officer scanned up the band members. All right then, she put away her pet. Everyone seems to be in order, but just a word of advice. Yes, officer, keep the volume down. Try not to let you jingle jangle, if you know what I mean. Arthur nodded. I do, officer. <clears throat> Thank you, officer. Goodbye. He shut the door behind her. That was close, said Buster. Binky was looking out the window. She turned off the flashing light too bad. Still, we might make the newspaper this week. Arthur turned back to the others. Everyone was packing up. Hey, wait, where are you going? We'll get the turn right. Don't give up. We don't want to be arrested, said Suelle, and I'm very busy. I'm not building jail time into my calendar, said Muffy. But the contest! The rain sidestepped Arthur's with his cello. We are all going home for lunch, said Prunella. Francine looked at him. We are come back later. I just hope you inspire while we are gone. <clears throat> very inspired. Pirates, Muffy added. Grandma Tora got her coat. Don't get discouraged, dear. It's a bit hurt on the ears so far, but I'm sure you can fix that. The rest of the band filed out. Arthur watched the with them weep. Only Buster was left. You feel better after lunch, he said. I know I always take Thinking better on a full stomach ache, Arthur's stomach ache was in a big knot. I can't think about food right now. I have work to do. He mouthed towards the house. You shouldn't take a, a break, Dad said Buster. Arthur spun around. Did Mozart take breaks? Buster didn't know. He couldn't even spell Mozart. What trust comment? One he six schedule. Did the guy who rode ring around the rosy take breaks? I don't think so. They were dedicated. They were communicated. And so am I.